Nicola Adams, OBE, aka The Lioness, aka Babyface, is a British former professional boxer with two Olympic gold medals. In the London 2012 Olympics, she became the first woman to win an Olympic boxing gold medal. She was also the first openly LGBTQ boxer to win an Olympic gold medal. And as such, she is a highly influential figure in the LGBTQ community. She won her two gold medals in the women's flyweight boxing. She's the only female boxer to have won the Grand Slam, having won every major title available to her. Nicola is officially Britain's most successful female boxer of all time. She's also an inspirational speaker on sports, LGBTQ inclusion and diversity. Now, after just two years in flyweight boxing, Nicola was forced to retire. Now, if you're squeamish, trigger warning. And I kind of wish I hadn't stumbled upon this bit of information, to be honest. But the reason she had to retire was she was facing a rematch with Maria Salinas to defend her world title. And during the first round of that rematch, Nicola suffered from a torn pupil. Now, at first, she thought it was just a minor injury. In an interview with BBC Radio 5, she said, I didn't think it would be anything too serious. I phoned the doctors a couple of days afterwards. I don't know how you could get on with the torn pupil for a couple of days, but anyway, she thought she could take the chance and continue boxing and hoping that nothing would happen. But the fact is, one unlucky punch meant she would have been completely blind in that eye. So she announced her retirement in November 2019 in an open letter to the Yorkshire Evening Post. She said, I'm immensely honored to have represented our country. To win double Olympic gold is a dream come true, but it's not without taking its toll on my body. And aside from the expected aches and pains, I've been advised that any further impact in my eye would most likely lead to irreparable damage and permanent vision loss. In 2020, Nicola was awarded with a new redesigned 20 pound note, which had her face on it as part of the Great British Banknotes series, covering cities across the UK that had been voted for by the public and the security features on that banknote were clues about Nicola Adams herself and her personality. Now, Nicola Adams has been with model Ella Baig since 2018. They met outside a nightclub in Leeds one night after Nicola, who's now 41, overheard Ella, who's 25, admitting to a friend that she had no idea who Nicola Adams was. People were asking Nicola for photos. Ella told the son, I remember being outside the club with my friend and I'd had a couple of drinks. I turned around to my friend and went, why is everyone asking for pictures of her? She's not even that fit. <laughs> Nicola heard me say that, but she liked the fact that I didn't know who she was, as rude as I was. We carried on talking for quite a while and it just took off from there. Nicola told The Independent, I knew that Ella liked me for me and not because of who I was. Now, the reason, in case you're wondering, that Ella thought Nicola wasn't that fit is because Ella had never been attracted to a masked woman before. In fact, she hadn't even realized that she was bisexual until she got into a relationship with Nicola. The two have been really solid ever since. Speaking to Bobby Norris and T.C. Coleman, the waitress from First Dates, Ella got candid about her orientation. She said, growing up and never seeing people with your sexuality on TV, any celebrities coming out, I had no idea about my sexuality when I was younger. For ages, I just genuinely thought that women were attractive and it was normal. I just thought they were attractive and that's what everyone thought. It wasn't until my friends were like, no, Ella. I was like, oh, then I must be bisexual. But even then I didn't know my type, but I didn't know anything. The model shared more about her orientation and the difficulties she faced growing up. She said, Nikki is the first masked lesbian that I've ever dated. I thought I liked girls that just looked like me and wondered why I always wanted to be friends with them. So she didn't see much diversity growing up. But when she moved to London, she saw a lot of diversity and she found that very attractive. Now, since her retirement, Nicola made history on Strictly Come Dancing as part of the first same-sex couple on the show. Ella was really proud of this, saying, it was definitely so long overdue. I mean, it's ridiculous when you even say to yourself that people complain about seeing two women dancing on TV. She said the reason that Nicola does things like this is what makes her proud, because she really does it to evoke change. The couple have also featured on Gogglebox together, and they have a son, Taylor Nate Adams, who was born in July of 2022. So the way they did that was they used Nicola's egg and a donor's sperm, and they chose a donor who resembled Ella. Ella then carried the pregnancy. It wasn't easy for them. They spoke about their IVF journey on ITV on a special documentary. It took them three rounds of IVF before they were successful. They also had a couple of miscarriages before, and that was really hard on both of them, physically and emotionally. Now, Ella is a champion of body image pride. She struggled with her body image over the years, and she's spoken about this being a model and her battle with psoriasis after giving birth. She was very open and candid with her fans on Instagram about it, and they showed a lot of support. And in the documentary, Nicola and Ella also explore the emotional and financial cost of IVF, and they meet with other people who have been through the same process. 
Nicola said she expects that one of the scariest and hardest parts of having a child would be to hold back when her son does something wrong. She says having to stand back and watch him fall so that he can pull himself back up from that failure is going to be tough. Nicola said that she and Ella hope that her son is able to be everything that he wants to be. Now there was one particular photo where fans went crazy because they thought that Nicola and Ella had gotten married. When they hadn't, they'd just gone to a friend's wedding. They do get Ella's mom to babysit from time to time so they can get away for romantic breaks, but they have a lovely home and their love seems really genuine. Ella has said that the grass is never greener on the other side and me and Nikki have a lot of history together so I don't think anyone's going to steal her off me. Nicola and Ella make a beautiful couple and with their son Taylor I think they make a beautiful family. Hope you enjoyed this video, like and follow for more.